Hello friends, in today's session, I will be discussing about how software engineering is considered to be a layered approach. So there are basically four layers on which the software engineering stands. The base layer is called as the quality focus. Above it, we have the process model. Above that, we have the methods and at the top of the layered approach sits the tools. So let us discuss every layer one by one. Starting with quality focus. Quality focus is said to be the bedrock and it focuses on all the organizational commitment to quality. So basically, whenever an organization is going for a software engineering project, it needs to define what quality it wants in the respective software. So whatever quality related decisions are taken, whatever uh, techniques are to be applied for maintaining the quality of software that forms a base rock for that software engineering project. So quality focus aims on achieving the quality and it determines the commitment to it. So it makes use of techniques like Six Sigma, TQM, that is Total Quality Management. These are statistical methods which are normally used for uh, bringing quality in your software. Above this is the process model. Once your quality and your focus is defined, the next thing that you need to do is defining the process model. That is how the things are to be conducted in order to implement your software project. So process layer is said to be the foundation layer and it is the basic glue which holds all the layers together. Because until and unless you have a proper process in place, your software engineering project cannot be completed. So it is responsible for enabling a balanced and timely development of your so computer software. It defines all the technical methods which can be applied. It also defines what work products will be produced at each and every step. What will be the de deliverables for your customer? What will be the different milestones that you need to define? And how you are going to ensure that the quality is being maintained? So all these tasks are considered when you define a process model for your project. Above this, you have the methods and they provide you the technical how-tos. So before this, the layer which we saw was process layer. It tells you what is to be done, but technically how to implement it, that is defined by the methods layer. So they provide you the technical how-tos of how to build the software. It may have tasks like communication, requirements analysis, design, uh, program construction, testing, support, everything. So actual how you are going to implement the system, that part comes under your methods layer. And below, uh, sorry, above this layer, you have the last layer, which is called as the tools layer. So you know what is to be done, you know how to do it, but for doing the actual task, you are going to require some tools. So those automated and semi-automated tools are categorized into the tools layer. So it provides automated and semi-automated support for the process as well as the method. So whatever you are uh, doing as a part of your process or as a part of your methods, for doing that, whatever tools you are using, that is considered as your tools layer. So tools are combined together so that information created by one tool can be used by another. For example, if you are in the planning phase, you have prepared a planning document. That planning document will be used by your designing team in order to design their product. The same plan will be used as an uh, input for your construction team, which will be coding based on the uh, deadlines and the milestones to be achieved. So everything is interrelated and that interrelation or that flow is together bounded with the help of the tools. So this was about how software engineering is considered as a layered technology approach. Thank you.